One of the most beautiful things to accomplish with your budgie is when you form a special bond with him or her. When your parakeet is not afraid of you anymore and considers you one of his or her family members. It's important to know that bonding and taming your budgie comes with a lot of patience and has different levels of bonding. I call it the FPFCT scale, which has 5 levels of bonding, each with a deeper and more meaningful relationship with your budgie. The FPFCT scale stands for Friendly, Partner slash Provider, Flock Member, Cuddle, and tricks slash talk. In this video, we will discuss each level, what does it mean and how to accomplish that level. When you first get your budgie, you start with level 0 which means you have no points on the FPFCT scale. Most people are looking to reach level 5 on that scale because not only you have accomplished a very deep bond, but also it is so much fun and you can actually brag about it in front of your friends and show them what a beautiful relationship you have with your bird. As mentioned before, you always start with level 0, which means your budgie doesn't know who you are yet. It could be because you have just got your budgie from the store or a breeder, or it was born at your place. If you are at level 0 because you have just brought your budgie from somewhere and it wasn't born at your place, then you have to give your budgie 10 to 20 days to settle in and get used to the new environment. Put the cage next to a wall. And of course, you want the cage to be rectangle, and this way, your bird feels safer. All you need to do is change your bird's food and water during this period. It is worth mentioning, the younger your budgie is, the easier it will be to get fast and higher levels on the bonding FPFCT scale. If you don't know if your budgie is young, I have a dedicated video for you to know if your budgie is young or old. Make sure to check it out. And one more tip, the less budgies you have, the easier it will be. Imagine having one budgie versus 10 budgies. The 10 budgies will interact with each other all day long. So when you come along to bond with one or multiple budgies, they would have already formed bonds with other budgies that you won't be as much needed addition to their flock. Let's start climbing the FPFCT scale, shall we? Level 1 is becoming friendly. You reach level 1 of bonding with your budgie when he is not afraid of you anymore. It means when you change his food bowl and water, he doesn't fly around in the cage trying to hide from you. You can accomplish this level by being calm and move slowly when you are changing his food or cleaning his cage. When you are doing that, try to make very slow movements. And when you change the food, keep your hand in the cage for 5 to 15 minutes every time. Keep it motionless without moving, so your budgie gets used to your hand around. And when you keep your hand in the cage for longer time, he will get used to it and understands that it is not something that wants to hurt him. Keep the cage in a kind of a busy area, where your bird can see you most of the time, so he or she gets used to people as well. Whenever you walk beside his cage, walk slowly and try to talk with him in a calm, soothing voice. The more you interact with your bird, the faster you can accomplish level 1. Now I know a lot of you are wondering, how long does it take to reach level 1? Well, I can't give you a time frame, because it all depends on how old your budgie is, how much time did you spend with him, and on his personality. But it is definitely reachable within the first month, especially if your bird is younger than 5 months. Now. 
Take the time to congratulate yourself after reaching level 1. It is a huge accomplishment. Give your bird and yourself a treat, as a lot of people haven't even reached level 1 with their budgies. Now let's continue climbing the FPFCT scale and reach level 2. I call it partner or provider. It is when your budgie starts eating something you hold in your hand. After you have reached level 1, the next step is offering your bird a treat he likes, or whatever you know he would want. After spending some time with your budgie, you should be able to know what he likes and what he doesn't like. So start by offering something he likes a lot. For a lot of people they start with millet. It is a very common treat. Fortunately for me though, they love fruits and veggies, so I offer them that. All you need to do is come close to your budgie and wait and wait and wait. Keep coming closer as long as you see your budgie is still comfortable and is not trying to fly away. If you see he is trying to flee, then stop moving any closer. At this point you can keep talking with him as you used to in the past month. If you see your budgie showing any signs of fear, stop doing whatever you are doing. And if you see that he is not comfortable at all, then remove your hand from there and try again another time. What I found most helpful is to come to your budgies when you know at this time they will eat. I usually do it when I first turn the lights on after they have been sleeping. I know for me at 9 o'clock at night, it would have been dark for 3 hours already in the winter time. So when I turn the lights on after coming home, they usually go to eat. That's when I offer them their most delicious food with my hand. If I was taming them during the summer, I'm pretty sure they would have different hours that eat at. As in the summer, it has longer days than night. Now just keep this process every day to the point when you offer the treat you will actually see them interested and they won't even try to flee from you. Actually I could do it with their regular seed mix because I have chosen the right time during the day to do it. When they start eating whatever you offer them, then that's even a bigger accomplishment because from level 2 to level 3 it is way easier and takes less time than what you had from level 1 to 2. Level 3 I call it flock member. It is when your budgie eats from your hand while standing on your hand. You become a flock member and can interact with him while he is inside the cage. In order to accomplish that, you need to try and put one finger between you and his treat. So he has to step up in order to eat from your hand. You can actually say a word to signal your budgie to hop on your finger, like up. In my case, I just offered their usual food, with an open hand. And I say up and he just jumps right on my hand. All you need to do is just make him come to his treat. After he is comfortable with level 2, eating the treats you offer, now it's time for him to come and get the treat. Although you can accomplish this step relatively fast, but it has a lot of work because you want to prepare him for level 4, which is cuddling. By that I mean you will be able to touch him, he would groom you or just cuddle and sleep in your hand. For that to happen, you need your budgie to really trust you and get out of the cage, which is his home and the most comfortable zone for him. What you need to do, when he is eating from your hand, you want to start slowly moving it towards the cage's door. You will find that when you are getting closer and closer to the cage's door, he will most likely start feeling uncomfortable. That's when you want to pose and to stop moving further to the cage's door. Each time try to move a bit closer to the cage's door, to the point where he doesn't care anymore and can keep eating from your hand outside his cage. It might take you a while to make him feel comfortable doing that, but when he feels safe on your hand, then it would make it really easy for you to try and interact with him more. Like if he lets you touch him with the other hand, give him a treat, to the point where you can cuddle together and reach level 4, which has a lot of cuddling and affection.
But since at this level your budgie is out of the cage, don't forget to make your house safe for budgies before letting your bird out. And finally go to the last step on the scale which is reaching level 5, and I call it tricks slash talk. And the reason is, because not all budgies talk, but doing tricks is also one of the deepest levels of bonding and taming you can reach with your budgie. At the moment, the most I have reached is level 4, but 15 years ago, I did have a budgie that was doing tricks, she didn't talk, but that because I haven't even tried to make her talk. I love teaching her to do different tricks, and it was very amazing experience for both my budgie and I. If you want to teach your budgie to talk, you need to keep repeating the same sentence for him. And you can see if he is listening to you by the way he is looking at you quietly. He might be chirping and when you start to talk, he gets quiet, that means he is listening to you. Of course make sure that he isn't silent because he is scared, you want him to be listening and not fearful. And for your budgie to do tricks, you want to focus on one trick and divide the trick into steps. And with every step he accomplishes, you give him a treat until he finally does the whole trick. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my budgies right now at level 5. To show you step by step how to do it, my budgie who she was very tamed and did a lot of tricks have passed away about 12 years ago. We didn't have smartphones back then to capture every moment with her as we do today. But always what you need to do to accomplish this step is dividing your trick into milestones. Let's say you want your bird to put a ball in a basket. Your first step is, when your bird carries the ball, you give him a treat. The next step would be, when he brings you the ball, you give him a treat. Don't give him a treat until he brings you the ball. Then, next step would be put a basket and when he brings you the ball, you put it in the basket and give him a treat. Then, you show him you want the ball in, and give him treat when he does that, and so on. This step takes a lot of time and patience, but I have given you one amazing trick. Start with simpler tricks, like if your bird makes a certain sound, you give him a treat, or when he lands on your hand, give him a treat. Level 5 is huge! And it could be from your budgie doing one simple trick to doing 50 different complicated tricks. It all depends on how much time are you willing to spend with your lovely feathered friend and how deep of a relationship you have built with him or her. Back when I was young, I had a lot of free time to spend with my budgie. She could do about 20 different tricks. It was amazing and very beautiful times. I really wish all of you could experience that type of bonding with your bird, it is really magical. Let me know in the comments below, to what level have you reached with your budgie right now, and to what level are you looking to accomplish in the next month. Happy taming everyone! For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.